Karen here with JesusTShirts.com and I know I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I got a new computer and it's really speedy it's working great I love it things are going so much faster I have multiple windows open at a time doing graphics and such for my t-shirt designs and it's no slowdowns no messes messing up it's great the one downside is <laughs> I've been using the legacy Photoshop CS2 Creative Suite 2 for years and when I reloaded it back into you know loaded it up into this computer it's it's just too old it's too unstable uh, Windows 10 doesn't seem to like old programs <laughs> And I don't have like two, three, four hundred hours to go getting um, an upgraded Photoshop program. And I'm not going to spend $20 a month just to use Photoshop online through Adobe's programs. So I went out and I've used paint.net a couple of times, but I really didn't have a good handle on it. and wasn't sure about it now I did download it yesterday and I did make an edit in a current design and it worked out well so I thought okay I've got the time to do it let's just learn this <laughs> because if you can run Photoshop you could work paint.net is the interface is just about the same there's a few subtleties there's a few pluses too there are some things that paint.net has actually made easier to use than Photoshop and um, I'm going to put a link down below the uh, description to a guy on YouTube that has some fantastic tutorials all about paint.net and links to where to get the plugins to have different effects. This is actually, this paint.net program is actually going to be better than the Photoshop that I was using and it's all free. There was a lot of programmers with paint.net that create all these different effects for you to do text and images. And I mean, it's just amazing. I've already gone through two of the tutorials and I'm just starting on another one. But I can actually do more in paint.net than I was doing in my Photoshop CS2. And the learning curve is a lot lower than with Photoshop. So I just thought I'd update you on this. If I don't have any new designs in the shop yet this week, which I'm working, I, I was going to work on a couple of them, but I kept getting stalled because of not knowing how quite to do it in Photoshop. Now I did go to placeit.net, but they didn't have exactly the template that I wanted. So I figured, okay, I'm going to have to do this in, in um, paint or paint.net. So I figured, okay, I'm going to take the time. I'm going to learn how to use it and use it right so that I can create better designs for my t-shirts. So that's pretty much all today was for is just to let you know that if, if you have a, if you want to learn a graphics program, if you're designing t-shirts or anything else, you want to design YouTube thumbnails for your videos, whatever print things to print out paint.net is a really good free program and I, I, I would just highly suggest getting it if you don't have um, a graphics program right now and you want to and plus that the links I'm sending you to for the guy that on YouTube that has the tutorials he's fantastic and I, I really really like him so I will give you the links down below to where to get paint.net and the tutorials on how to use it. And you'll be flying around in paint.net in no time. Okay, so it might be a day or two until I get uh, more designs in the shop, but it's because I'm learning how to use a better graphics program so that I can really create some nice designs. All right, so that's it for this video. Again, it's Tuesday, January 2. If you haven't yet, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, 
and hit the notification bell and you'll have a good day. God bless.